Service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. Sports legend Muhammad Ali. I think this program is good because it helped me and it helped us to learn more about money, savings, spending, needs and wants too. ROW Best Saya bersyukurlah, terima kasih banyak-banyaklah Apa yang diberi pada saya Saya bersyukur pada semua anak datang Tak terlebih, tak terkurang Alhamdulillah Okay, it's good Suka, barang dapat suka Distributing food rations has been synonymous with 4PM since the 1960s Then, 4PM volunteers rode the sampan to the southern islands now, 4PM volunteers participate in Ramadan on Wheels role to provide value-added assistance so that families can be self-sustaining and independent of financial assistance. What started out as a food disbursement project with the support of nearly 50 volunteers reaching out to 30 families, Roe has expanded its reach to over 1,731 families and over 5,176 volunteers. These families and volunteers include Muslim and non-Muslims. Two heads are always better than one. Teamwork creates better ideas and generates better outcomes. The hope is to transform individuals, heal families and attempt to create a fresh start. This is Ro through the eyes of the organising committee. Ramadan on Wheels is going mad. Okay, MAD, which stands for Making a Difference. But this year we have uh, spiced up the entire event. So we have uh, this sharing via World Cafe method, whereby the volunteers will go through a cycle of stations experiencing the different roles and responsibility. We, we found that this session is particularly a hit among the youth volunteers because they start to realise that uh, our family and Papi M is really one which is close knit and we have that uh, we have that close knitness and that informal session allows for a lot of them to feel very at home. It's actually 80% goes to the beneficiaries and it's not only to the money where they shop at Jai, it's actually more than that, you know, wearing our makeovers such as painting the houses and when we give them training, it's actually increasing the quality of life as well because it's, it's more sustainable in the future. So it's a balance of quality and quantity. Madam Latifa Latip, her husband and their 10 children live in a two-room rental flat. The house may not be in the best condition. However, Madam Latifa makes the best out of it. Their situation is complicated by the fact that both her husband and son are in need of surgery to improve their ability to function daily. Lepas itu, saya pun suruh anak-anak saya beri kari juga. Macam apa nak sesuatu beri kari. Anak-anak saya macam yang besar, pakai ikan. Daripada pendapatan tu kita jual lah apa-apa yang lain. Kan? Untuk anak adik-adik dia makan, apa semua hari-hari. Saya tak boleh nak keluar daripada kemiskinan, apa semua. Pasal anak-anak saya sekarang macam dia tak nak. Macam kata orang, tak nak macam ni. Ramadan on wheels, but uh, there is also other communities to to help, and it's not only limited to the Muslim communities, and it's also open to everyone. Ramadan on wheels is just we hope it's a platform for them to start, for them to take the first step in helping, and we hope they can grow on their own, they can enrich on their own selves, and they can make a difference in their own lives. We really hope that uh, from the workshop that HPP conduct, we can actually help them uh, and give information and knowledge to the beneficiaries that uh, these are the healthier choice and the healthier lifestyle that they and their children can adopt.
People volunteer for different reasons. For some, it is about giving back. For others, it is about achieving personal satisfaction. Whatever the reason, there has been a steady rise in the number of volunteers in recent years. Volunteering also appeals to groups of individuals who share similar interests. For me, it's like being Chinese, I feel that it's really going to be very inspiring if you can meet more of the different races, volunteers, because um, what we really need here is translators, like people who can really speak their language. And for me now, I only can speak Chinese. And sometimes I find it very lacking when a lot of beneficiaries can speak only dialect. And especially our Indian um, beneficiaries, we, there's hardly much we can help because um, that's very difficult to find uh, Indian speaking um, volunteers. It keeps me coming back because when I see their joy to serve, well, I also get very inspired, very PM receives over 400 applicants for Ramadan on Wheels annually and is able to reach out to about 270 families. Our efforts would not be complete without the support from all five community development councils. One such beneficiary who benefits from Rose assistance is Madam Zinat Bachamian. Actually, I had no choice. Sebab satu masa dulu, saya nak sakit. Dia sehat, dia nak sakit keluar hospital, masuk hospital. Dia seorang suami yang bertanggungjawab. Dia pelihara Zina dengan keadaan Zina yang mungkin tak ada suami yang akan pelihara bila keadaan dia sedia begitu. Tapi dia pernah uh, jaga Zina sebaik itu. Jadi inilah tanggungjawabnya untuk membalas budi dia sebagai seorang isteri. Dan sebagai isteri, nak tak akan nanti dia tak nak apa pun terjadi di depan mata dia. Saya nak bersyukurlah apa Pak apa Pak PM beri sini. Padahal nak tak pernah minta-minta ni tau. Nak cakap terus terang. Nak tak pernah uh, minta bantuan-bantuan ni sebab apa nak rasa nak dia nak bersalah. Kerana zinat masih Allah Taala beri empat kerat. Uh, nak tak suka menerima, nak lebih suka memberi. In the month of Ramadan, the beneficiaries receive between $200 and $300 to shop for groceries. In an effort to provide holistic aid for the beneficiaries, Empat PM provides a slew of assistance in other areas. Let us hear from Head of Casework and Counselling Unit, Ms. Nadia Bamasri. Most of them have actually zero income or um, none of the family members working. Um, then we have to actually collaborate with other partners to see how best we can actually equip them with certain skills where they can get jobs and better paying uh, ones so that they can get out of the poverty cycle. Apart from that, we hope to also enrich the children who are actually not going to school, um, have issues with um, understanding uh, academics or have a problem even reading. So that's why we are also channeling them to appropriate partners to help them them to excel better in school or through a mentoring programs where they can actually have a mentor, uh, they can attend programs for free. So these are some of the things that we will do for our beneficiaries and of course with a lot more help and um, donations and volunteers coming in, a lot more can be planned uh, and we are also opening ideas up to our volunteers, donors to come in and share with us what we can do best for our volunteers to better outreach and get them out of the poverty cycle. The youngest we have is about 7 years old because, uh, and the eldest is about 78 years old. What we do is we encourage, especially for Ramadan Oil, for the volunteers to come in the family because they are serving the beneficiaries as a family and we help. We, we would like them to come forward as a family. This would be like a family outing rather than just going out to come and volunteer individually. Every year, we have a lot of our volunteers coming back because they believe, they have this conviction that whatever they do, no matter how small their contribution are, it will go a great length in helping the beneficiary uh, achieve their aspirations in life. Because this is a platform for us to reach out to a lot of these corporate firms to get them to join us on board. My wish is to get more company involved as part of their CSR and uh, not in terms of uh, monetary donation but in terms of uh, manpower. Hidup ini seperti putaran roda. Kadang-kadang kita di atas, kadang-kadang kita di bawah. This can be likened to the Roe program. While the volunteers give to the beneficiaries through Roe, they also receive the opportunity to gain experiences which will develop and grow them in the hope that they may enrich their lives and that of others. Actually, I used to help in ROW in the year 2010 as a driver to the beneficiaries. Okay, uh, there was this year, my role is different. Because um, 
I think that I can actually impart my knowledge in uh, finances to the to the kids. So Alhamdulillah, opportunity to actually uh, share my knowledge to the kids on uh, how to save, what is the difference between needs and wants, uh, what is uh, what you are supposed to do when you receive your pocket money, and also uh, the importance of saving um, utilities at home. Teenagers like us, we feel that like it's. This is the only way that we can give back to the society. I hope that uh, many teenagers will like have the thinking like us, yeah, to create awareness for Ramadan oils. Look around you and you'll see different people in different different colours. These are the volunteers who have made it happen for Ramadan on Wheels year after year. We have seen many ripple effects. We have seen how families come together. We have seen how friends garner support from their fellow friends, from their classmates, from their CCA groups to come together and participate as a school to contribute to this very meaningful project for Ramadan on Wheels 2012. Ramadan!